Learning never exhausts the mind. TCP congestion control address the TCP known problem. So TCP use slow start to restart the transmission after a relatively long period of time. Hello friends, my name is Sabi and in today's video we'll discuss about TCP congestion control using slow start and congestion avoidance. So how a slow start and a congestion avoidance algorithm must be used by a TCP sender to control the amount of outstanding data injected in the network. What is congestion windows CWND and the another state variable the slow start threshold. So all this we'll see in our TCP congestion control part 2. TCP congestion control will implement whatever we learned from the previous video. Slow start, the purpose of the slow start algorithm is to avoid overwhelming the network with a sudden surge of data to gradually ramp up. So question is how much the sender sends out in an initial window right after the TCP three-way handshake. So it might be two size of MSS, sometimes it will be four, sometimes it is eight MSS as well and more than that as well. For every network round trip, the congestion window is grows and it grows exponentially. So in our case, we send two segments. Once it receives an acknowledgement, it will increase the congestion CWND value to four MSS. Similarly, once it receives an acknowledgement, it increased to eight MSS. Once again, it will receive an acknowledgement, it will increase to 16 MSS, which is an exponential increase of the congestion window because we are doing a slow start. But to what extent it will increase like this? To what extent it will have an exponential increase? Next concept is slow start threshold. So the initial value of a SS thresh should be arbitrarily high. So the slow start algorithm is used when the congestion window is less than the SS thresh. If SS thresh is equals to the congestion window, then the sender might either start with the slow start algorithm or congestion window algorithm. You can imagine SS thresh is like a speed limit sign on a highway that determines the maximum allowed speed of for the data transmission. So this will help to control the congestion in the network. Similarly, how you adjust your driving speed to maintain a safe and efficient flow of traffic on a congested highway. So once the congestion window size increase the threshold, so it will enter into the congestion avoidance phase. So in the congestion avoidance phase, TCP aims to maintain a stable and efficient transmission. Instead of increasing the send rate exponentially, as in the slow start, the sender now increment the transmission rate in more conservative manner. By combining the additive increase and multiplicative decrease, TCP dynamically adjusts its send rate based on the congestion feedback received from the network. So this mechanism helps TCP a fair share of available bandwidth while avoiding overloading the network and allowing other flows to have their fair share as well. For instance, there is a packet drop happened. So the packet drop will be sensed by the RTO or duplicate act, right? The slow start will start from again with the two segment MSS. As the two segment MSS is less than the threshold, the new threshold, which is the congestion window divided by two, the new threshold value will be. So it is less, so it will again enter in a slow start algorithm phase and then it will exponentially increase while receives the acknowledgement. Once it reaches the SS thresh, it will go in a congestion avoidance phase and then it will increase leniently. So now putting it all together, we'll see in a packet capture how in a real time it will look like. So this is a packet capture from 50.105 to 221.254. So in the SYN packet, we know that 
it's exchange the receiver MSS, how much segment that I need, and then the window size, the window scale. So window scale is basically been calculated with the window size in the header with the window scale factor of 256, which gives us a calculated window size of 132096. Now, in this capture, we will see that this is the actual initial window size it sends. So you will see the TCP segment length, which is 1350. This is the length which the, which the header. And then you will see that bytes in flight. So what is bytes in flight? So generally, the bytes in flight are the bytes which are not being acknowledged yet. So you will, if you will go to the sequence and acknowledge analysis in the packet capture, you will see that bytes in flight details, how much bytes is not being acknowledged. So back to the initial window, it sends total number of nine segments. And then it sees that acknowledge being received, right? Once the acknowledgement will be received, it exponentially increase the congestion window. So it is sending from packet number 75 to 90. And then once the acknowledgement will be received for these packets, so again, it will what it will increase the window size, uh, the congestion window to from packet number 116 to 141. The congestion window will grow based on once we receive the acknowledgement from the receiver once the packet being received there. So what will happen? It is exponentially growing, right? So now, if for instance, there is a drop happened, if there is a drop, in the network will be there. So it will reduce the congestion window size. So there is a lot of TCP retransmission happened. So it will see that after three do packs, we as uh, TCP assume that there is a packet drop happened. So it enters into the fast retransmit algorithm. So it will retransmit the packet. So based on this, in the slow start, as drop is there, it will drop the window. And then again, it starts with less number of MSS, which is, for example, two, sometimes four, sometimes five, six, eight, like that. So, and then when the acknowledgement are being received, so what it does, it will keep on increasing the congestion window size based on till it reached the threshold. We'll start this with a slow start. We uh, exponentially, we increase the uh, window congestion window from 2 to 4 to 8 to 16, once we receive, keep on receiving the acknowledgement, it increased the segment size and then it increased exponentially. It reached to the SS threshold, slow start threshold. And then from there on, it enters into the congestion avoidance phase. So during the packet transmission, if anything happened, three duplicate act receives, or if we have a packet drop or a round trip, timeout re retransmission timeout will be there. So it will assume there is a packet drop and it will drop the congestion window and start it from again with two MSS or four MSS. And but at the same time, the new threshold will be calculated as the congestion window divided by two. The value will be set as new threshold. And till that it will go with a slow start algorithm because the congestion window is less than the threshold. So it will go start with the slow start. It will go in congestion avoidance phase when the congestion window is greater than the SS thresh. But when it is equals to, either it can go with this slow start or congestion window. So this is about the analysis of the graph with the uh, packet capture that we have. Uh, what we'll discuss in this is slow start, congestion avoidance, and the new threshold value calculation, how it sends a packet drop, what is the new start, how much packet it will send, how, what is the new MSS will be. So this is what we will discuss in this video. Please share your feedback and questions in the comment box. I'll get back to you. Thank you so much for watching.